So the last two potential organizational patterns that you can kind of kind of take a look at um, is the first one here is order of importance. And so um, what this one is, is you actually put in order the most important things that you want to discuss. And so the thing you have to do first is identify, like, what do you want to talk about? So I say, while my grandmother showed me physical strength, um, it was actually, come on now. Oh my gosh, I want to, okay. It was actually, it was her mental strength that truly inspired me. So here, you'll notice that I'm actually identifying like what's more important than the other. So it's not compare and contrast because I'm not necessarily comparing and contrasting the strength. What I'm talking about is what she did but what seemed to be most important. So if I start with, the first thing that I start with is going to be the thing that I typically don't find the most important. Like, it's still obviously important, otherwise I wouldn't be writing about it. Um, but the first one is going to be about my grandmother showing me physical strength, right? And then the second thing that, or the second section of my paper is going to be about that mental strength, okay? don't even know which one I used so we'll just do that one close enough so again you'll notice that the order of importance like I've got two things I I separate I know I, I want to talk about my grandmother's strength and so I talk about physical strength first but act, what's actually important to me is her mental strength okay so I've got these two components here and again remember that I was telling you that I do say paragraph but this could even be like section. This says paragraph, but again, this could be like section. So this could be maybe two paragraphs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at I do it. So I could do two, I could do potentially even three if I wanted. Um, but the most important thing almost always comes last, right? And again, this could be one, two, three body paragraphs, but in general, I'm putting in order the most important things. I'm going to start with the less, less important, and then I'm going to use transitions to move to the more important. So the transitions here are going to be super important and showing the importance of these, um, of these uh, attributes here. So what's the benefit of these, the order of importance? Well, the first benefit is... Um, going to say allows you to look at multiple ways this person impacted you. So I'm talking to you about my grandmother's physical and mental strength. So these are two different uh, categories in how she ident how she how she um, impacted me. Granted, they both have to do with strength, um, but like. I could talk about that in terms of like how she helped me understand how to be a good person when people are looking, but more importantly, when people aren't looking, something like that. So in general, like it's easy for me to like I can I can cover more things that people are or I can cover more. And I just have to put them in the right order. Um, a potential drawback for this. Is like I oops. I have to put um, the impacts on a hierarchy, which might feel weird. Like, my grandmother impacted me, and it was good. It, it's not one way is better than the other. Like, if you don't feel comfortable putting that, putting them and saying this one is more important than another, like, then don't do this. If you don't want to say, yeah, they impact, impacted me a little bit here, but mostly here. If that makes you feel uncomfortable because you have a close relationship with this person, then don't choose this. Um, the other thing, too, is that, like, you actually, there has, oops, has to be hard. Be multiple, you have got to be kidding me, multiple ways to be impacted. So, like, if I just wanted to talk about my grandmother's mental strength because her physical strength had no impact on me whatsoever, then I would not use this. If I only wanted to talk about my grandmother's mental strength, I only have one way that she impacted me, then I would not 
use this uh, because there's only two ways that she could have there's only one way that she impacted me is with her mental strength so I would not necessarily I wouldn't use this pattern if that was the case the other this isn't really a drawback but be careful of transitions so granted all trends every single one of these the transitions are so important but here the order of importance is pretty pretty important um, because it could end up looking like BBB you don't want that remember Bing Bang Bongo if you are, don't use transitions carefully and show me why one thing is more important than another, then it just ends up looking like you're listing ideas. So be careful. This definitely could potentially create some problems um, in terms of uh, effective organizational patterns. Now, um, the last one is what's called the definition organization. So what it's kind of self-explanatory here that oh, you're starting with a definition. So if you take a look at the thesis here, um, before understanding what my grandmother experienced throughout her life, my idea of strength focused on superficial attributes. So that's the my initial definition of what strength is. Then I go, however, my grandmother helped me understand what true strength is. Okay, so I have what my definition was before and what it is after, and the definition of strength. So you want to make sure if you're going to be doing that, if you're going to be doing the definition, you got to make sure that you identify like um, what is it that you are defining. So here it's pretty clear that it's strength. Yeah. So take a look at what that would look like in an actual essay. Okay, so paragraph one, in the past, I thought strength happened in brief moments. So here I'm actually, and here I would talk about like, why is that my definition of strength? Examples of where that would be. Then I got my, so that would be connected up to this blue part here. Then paragraph two would be what my grandmother did that contradicts that, right? So how, what she did differently. Okay, then I've got my final body paragraph that's listed here, and I know you can't see it very well, but it says now my idea of strength has changed. So that also connects up to this green part. So I've got three body paragraphs, and the one is they're talking about what it was, bef my definition of strength before, and what my grandmother did, and how that changed my understanding of strength. So let's take a look at what some benefits and drawbacks could be of this. So um, one of the benefits here, um, uh, focuses on unique attributes or lessons um, taught by Person. So this is very similar to uh, what was brought up earlier with the compare and contrast. It kind of emphasizes the fact of like how this person has redefined or redefined what something is. And it emphasizes their unique or important impact on you. The fact that they are going against what you had initially identified or what you initially thought, that would focus on their uniqueness. Um, a potential drawback for this is that like what if they didn't change the definition of something so like what if it's not surprising what if they didn't change my definition what if I always thought this is what a good person is and this person showed me how to do it like that doesn't change anything it's just a it so I have to be can I have to be careful about um, how I go about utilizing this. It may not be for everybody. So this is just a, uh, a broad overview of the different organizational patterns that you could use. Um, and I want you to think critically and carefully about how you would utilize them. And you'll notice that um, some of them have three body paragraphs. Some of them only have two. 
Some of them have three, some of them have three, some of them have two. And so it there's nothing in here that says you have to have a specific number of paragraphs. You simply have to you have to identify how that would work, um, which one you want to use, how many body paragraphs that you need. Also, please remember that when I say paragraph here, I literally mean body paragraph. Okay, so I hope that you know that that all these when it says paragraph, it says it means a body paragraph. Every single one of these is body paragraph. So you'd have an intro, body, 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 conclusion. So, um, and you need to be care. You need to think critically about what evidence you would use for these because they're all going to be different. Okay, in terms of how you use the evidence. So you choose which one is best. Um, I have a sheet for you to kind of walk through some potential steps um, and come to class prepared to discuss the different attributes or the different, uh, not different attributes, the different organizational patterns that you might utilize in your essay.